In this video, we're gonna look at impacts. So ball hits the ground when falling vertically with a speed 20 and it rebounds with a speed 15. So we know that going down this direction is negative J and going back up is positive J. And what this is introducing is the coefficient of restitution E. And if we jump down, it's the new velocity divided by the old velocity will give us minus E. So if you think new velocity 15 divided by old velocity minus 20, we get minus three over four. So that's going to be minus E. So E is equal to three over four, or it retains three quarters of its speed. And the second part of the example here, if it was going 16, three quarters of 16 would be 12. It would retrain 12 and it would be going back up with 12 J meters per second. Now, another thing to notice about E is that it's always between zero and one. Can't be less than one, it can't be greater than one. Can't be less than zero, can't be greater than one. In this example, a football of mass two, kilo, two kilograms is falling vertically towards horizontal ground and it gives us the velocity of minus 12. And it tells us the coefficient of restitution e is two thirds. Find the velocity of the ball after impact. So we know that after over before equals minus e. You could just get two thirds of 12 and see that it's eight. But if you want to follow this method, x divided by minus 12 is minus two over three. Three x equals 24. So x is equal to eight. So eight j is the velocity afterwards the impulse imparted on the ball impulse change in mass times velocity so mv minus mu so the impulse the mass is 2 the velocity afterwards is 8 minus 2 times the velocity before was minus 12 so the impulse is going to be 16 plus 24 which is 40 joules per newton second and then the football is loss of kinetic energy okay let's have a look at the loss of kinetic energy here kinetic energy before and the kinetic energy after so applying a half mu squared to both a half by two, well, that'll just give me one. So we're just gonna have u squared here, which is the minus 12 squared or 12 squared. So that's 144. Afterwards is a half two. We got eight. So that's eight squared, which is equal to 64. So the loss is 144 minus 64. The loss in kinetic energy is 80 joules. And that's the last, last part of that. Let's look at the next example. Here we have a snooker ball, mass 0.5 kg. Just take that outside, mass 0.5, and it's moving with velocity 6i minus 5j, and it hits the cushion and rebounds, and we're told e is equal to 4 over 5. Now it's very important to remember in these questions the i velocity doesn't change, just the j. So J is what we're focusing on here for the change. So we're looking for after. So after over before, which is minus five, is equal to minus E. So we're gonna have five X. You can see X equal to four, five X equal to 20, X equal to four. So after the velocity becomes six I plus four J. That's the velocity after part one. Part two, the impulse. Impulse is the mass times the change in velocities. And view minus mu. Don't put the ones in, don't need them. But we have 0.5 for the mass. The velocity after we've just got to be 6i plus 4j minus 0.5 times. I'm going to just move this bracket down here. Before we had 6i minus 5j. So we're going to get 3i plus 2j from the first bracket. We're going to get minus 3i plus 2.5j from the second one. So impulse equals 4.5j in Newton seconds. <coughs> Part three, the loss in kinetic energy. So the change in a half 
mu squared. So what are my u's here, or my v's and u's? So we have the square root of the six and the five was first. Six squared plus five squared, that's gonna be 36 and 25 root 61. And afterwards we have, did we write it out? We did six i plus four j, so six squared plus four squared. And that's going to be root 52. <clears throat> so my u and my v, if you want to label them those. So my half by 0.5, but I'll call that a half again, by u squared is going to be 61. So 61 over 4 for before. And a half times a half times 52. 52 over 4. So the loss is 61 over 4 minus 52 over 4 which is equal to 9 over 4 and that is in joules